Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see the demonstration of our online bookstore project. So this is the home page of the project. And here we have the slider. And coming down, you have some description about the website. And here you have the books listed over here. So here you will get the top eight books over here. And then when you click on view more, for now I've just added three books. So you are getting these three books. And yeah, and you have the footer over here. These things are managed from your admin dashboard. I will show you that thing in the video later. So when you click on view more, you get to the books page and you can access this page from your nav bar also. So when you come here, you see, you will get all the books listed over here and you can filter it based on the category and even on the author. So if you want a specific category from a specific author, you can just select that and then select the author and then filter that. Okay. So I do not have anything such. Okay. So here you have the new arrivals page. So when you go here, you will get the latest added 20 books over here. And then you can view all the books on this page. That is the books page. Okay, so here you can see the book name and you have the add to cart button and the add to wishlist button here itself. So when you click on add to cart, you can see login to continue. Same thing with the wishlist as well. And normally you can view the product and then you can select the quantity. And when you try to add it from here, by default, one quantity will be inserted. So here you can just select it. And when you say add to cart, it will ask you to log in. And here you have the authors page where you can view books by the authors. Okay. And here is your cart and your wish list. So when you go to the cart, if you're not logged in, it will redirect you to the login page. So let me just register as a new user. Say user at gmail.com and enter the phone number user at gmail.com okay here is the username so i'll just give user and the password and now when you click register you can see registration successful login to continue so i will say user at gmail.com and i will give my password so i signed in you can see login successful now when i click on add to cart and i will go to my cart you can see that book is added over here with one quantity. Let me go and open this book and select three. Say add to cart. It is added. Okay, so now let me go to my cart and I can reduce the quantity or increase it from here. Okay, and I can also remove it from here. For now, we'll just leave it like this. Yeah, and then I say check out. So I can see I got this books two quantity one and this is the total and my wish list it's empty let me add there add to wish list you can see you got it over here you can view it and then add to your cart or you can remove it if you don't require okay so now we'll go to our cart and you can go to checkout or you can directly go from here so here you have your products whichever you have put it in your cart and here are the basic details you can give an alternate phone number and then specify your address. And then you can either pay via PayPal or your credit and debit card. And also you have the option of paying with Razor Pay. So you can use your UPI ID and cards. And you have another option just cancel this and you have the option of place order COD so it is cash on delivery so we will just place this and you can see thank you for shopping with us you can view your orders and view other books here so once you click view my orders you will get your orders page also you can go to that from your my orders page okay and let me click view over here I will have the order details the order is placed and the order date tracking number payment mode okay and you have an option to cancel the order over here and this is the order details 
so let me just scroll up go back and here you have my profile and you can update your address and alternate phone number from here okay so let me log out from here and log in as the admin say admin at gmail.com okay and login successful so you can see you have your stats over here the total category total books total authors total admin on users total social media links these social media links are visible in the footer which i showed you in the starting of the video let me just show you quickly copy that paste it and when you come down here you can see the social media links that is displayed from here social media so we have totally two social media over here and today's orders is like we have one order which i just placed and total orders till date is seven orders so we'll start with the admin slash users so here you can add your admin or users from your admin dashboard and user can register from the register page also okay so here you just select the role and add the basic details and then insert the user or the admin and here social media you can add that and this will be visible in the footer over here and then coming to the settings you have the title this is the logo let me show new and this is your domain url and you have the description which will be used as the meta description in your home page and this is the website logo and these are the contact information which will be visible over here so let me just update the address new building and say save settings now you just see when i refresh the page you can see this is changed also when i just change this to new right so you'll be able to see here that online bookstore new Let me just remove that and save setting refresh so that thing is gone from here and here as well and then coming to the orders and here you can filter the orders by the date and the status so you can select this and say filter so you'll get all the order placed which is still not yet marked as completed or cancelled okay so let me just reset it you can use the reset button as well and here's today's date 13 august and this is our order which we just placed here you can see this is our order items and this is the user details order status let me mark it as complete payment status completed and submit so it is updated over here back and now you see the this is our order which is marked as completed okay so we'll go to the categories now in the categories you have five categories as of now you can add it from here the name image and the status whether you want to display it or keep it hidden so it will just add up like this you can edit and let me hide this update and you can see this is hidden literatures so when you go here in your books you can see that literatures category is not displaying here anymore so i will just enable it update back and i'll refresh and show you here it is okay and similarly for the books you have uh, the books added over here let me show you the authors first here we have the authors list and when you say add author you can just add the author you can give the author name and then the description about the author like about the author you can explain over here and then you can give the author image date of birth and then status whether you want to keep it hidden or displayed okay so we have two authors and here you can see the books now when i say add book you specify the book name and select a category for the book and the author of that book and you can give a brief description over here and you have these many options so you can write an unordered list or a list or you can create a table attach a image or a video or a link and you can use multiple different fonts to write the description about the book then we specify the price for the book and this is the mrp this is the original price and this is the price we are selling it at 
and how many quantity we have available with us and the publication date of the book and then you have the image and an ISBN number and you can keep the status as checked for hidden and unchecked for visible and then you can save it okay so we have pretty much seen everything in our admin dashboard as well and in the user side so let me just log out from here yeah so that's it in this project guys i hope you like the project please like the video and subscribe to the channel and i will put down the link in the description and in the comments so you can go and get this project from there so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you